Alright. So we're gonna take out this this is a Indian chieftain dark horse. As you can see, a quick walk around. Still not really a fan of that fairing, but really nice front wheel. This is uh I guess the normal 111. I thought maybe it would be the 116. No, this is 111. 116 is up ahead. Hey. Thank you. So somebody's got the 116. I wouldn't mind to try that. All right, thank you. I'll get the. We'll get out. We'll get the 116 out when we get a chance. Wow, that kickstand is far forward. Alrighty, so as you can see, you have a nice little start up there, and I've, I've, I've ridden. We're in neutral, okay. So I've ridden one of these before. It was a while ago, but this wasn't this. It was different. Um, I believe that was maybe a 2015 model, maybe 2014 model. So you know the. Oh, see, he's got the pipes on there. Mm -hmm. Yep, pipes. Yeah, I guess I do have some pipes on here. Yeah. yeah, she's got a nice little sound to her. So, uh, yeah, the other model I rode was an older model. And, uh, wow, they changed that. That's shield goes up and down from here now. Oh, wow, that's pretty low. How about that? Um, supposedly you have ride modes. I don't know how to go back and forth. From ride modes to ride mode, but okay, let's, let's check out sport. We got sport, we have standard, we have tour, as you can see there. The motor rider is actually taking out uh, FTR 1200, which is nice. Now, this has you see, oh, it's nice to got central locking bags, that's cool. Now, this has a uh, the seat is feels different from the last one I sat on it's got like this little special cutout and you got like a little support on your back which is really nice um, I'll take a photo of that afterwards so you can see and I guess this is your storage area here you can storage stuff you got a little USB port and uh, you know uh, <laughs> you know Stoney was the one that said it that uh, this dash reminds him of the uh, the cleaner from the Jetsons. Oh my god, it's the funniest thing he ever said, I swear to god. But um but yeah, so we're gonna take out this uh Chief Dark Horse. Maybe tomorrow we'll play on the BMW side. I have a three o'clock ride with Yamaha and I have to talk to them and see if they'll let me record the eluder. I don't know if they're gonna, but they're saying they don't want anybody to record. Which kinda sucks. But I guess they have their reasons you know sometimes people mess things up anyway so this is a really i like this white man this is like that uh let me see ride command uh, seven inch glove compatible touchscreen standard features premium 100 watt audio system uh new ride modes okay you saw that already rear cylinder deactivate uh push button power windshield full led lighting wow that's cool uh, remote lock and saddlebags, thunder black smoke is 26.7, the white smoke is 27.499, the bronze smoke is 27.499. There you go, people. So those are the numbers. You get a temperature readout, which lets you know it's 72 degrees. And we're taking a little bit to turn off here. Uh, 12.47 for the time. And mirrors are all jacked up. friction zone feels nice the throttle feels odd it's a throttle by wire so you know you get a little odd feeling via the throttle you need to get a feel for the front brake which doesn't feel too bad but the throttle is definitely very twitchy but I guess that can only equal to it being very responsive Wow, front brake is far up there. Okay. Alrighty. Woo! And let's go. Oh man. 
interesting. <laughs> Definitely has a lot of scoot there. Okay, that was weird. It's like these guys are part of the ride, but they kind of just went off and did their own thing. I don't get it. grasping that one there anyhow uh, wow you know for the windshield being low hmm, the wind doesn't feel the wind doesn't feel too bad at all like it, it's not it doesn't feel like it's uh, beating you up or anything really nice friction zone nice balance too gotta have my feet really far forward <laughs> wow that is odd maybe I just need to sit forward a little bit more try that I gotta have my feet far forward the brake is up there you see that Where the brake pedal is but um yeah Let's feel for how the balance is it's not too bad throttle feels really twitchy just gotta adjust to that smoothing it out a little bit okay all right let's stagger people we're gonna make a right up here so we're gonna take it out on a highway and we will get to open her up a bit fun when we get to open her up <laughs> oh man I tell you beautiful day here up at AmeriCade 2019 demo rides let me try to get up early tomorrow see if I can get on a see if I can get on a uh, one of the Hondas, maybe. Guess we'll see, right? Really smooth. But you want some more wind? You just whoo! You gotta be careful there. <laughs> Put the windshield up a little bit, and that gives us a little bit more wind protection, which is nice. That gives us a little more wind protection. All right, so. I don't know, I'm trying to figure this out. Boost it a little bit. Wow. Motor rider right there. Man, woo! She is not playing. Woohoo! You sure can't open this sucker up. Oh boy! You gotta love that. I don't like the way I'm sitting in this chair though. The seat. That's the chair. What the heck is wrong with me? Um, feels like I'm sitting kind of just like back in it. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but. It just feels odd. Man, sport mode, holy crap! <laughs> Whoa, the sport mode! I mean, you just gun it, guys, and bye! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh man! A lot of vibration, though! Oh man! <laughs> Oh boy! Woo! Hello! Wow, to sport mode. Man! <laughs> Whoa! 
Cincinnati. Man, talk about responsive. I think through here I might like standard. So we'll go into we'll go into standard through here. I don't know, we're gonna see what that's like because uh come through the twisty section here and we'll just have a little fun through here so this is you know this is pretty cool you know where they put this windshield you just double tap it now and down she goes and that's just awesome you know that's just awesome Double tap and... There you go. Now this guy's really not comfortable so I'm gonna back off a little bit. I don't want him to feel like I'm pushing him. That's one of my things with these demo rides. Sometimes people see you coming up on them and they think you're pushing them to go. And he doesn't look... I don't know if he's really comfortable in the corners but... <clears throat> not like I would push this through corners anyway because it's not my bike <laughs> you know what I mean and you don't want to destroy a company's bike going wide into a turn suspension feels pretty stiff that's the only thing with this oh my god this seating position it's almost like you're sitting in the couch and you're you're doing one of these moves i just don't know about that what's that in third you know i'm one of those guys i don't really need a gear indicator kind of just feel it out but Maybe this is a low seat. That could be what it is. So if you have a higher seat, I would sit a little higher. I'm 5'11 and uh, about 208 pounds, you know. And I think if I had a seat that sat me a little higher, I would definitely, like, I would definitely, uh, I think I would definitely feel a little better with a seat that sat me a little higher than this one. This one, I feel like I'm sitting a little low, you know, so. But that's not to take anything really away from the bike, except the fairing. I just don't like the design of the front of the fairing, but you know, this whole Eleanor thing that they got going on, it's pretty cool. You know, the bike handles nice. It's it's really, really it's nice and I want to say flickable. Um, but um, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely nice. It's a nice ride really smooth really smooth through the corners too you know and i like these bars you know they're pretty low and they give you a nice feel you know they give you a nice feel for the for the road which is nice so that's always a nice thing i really didn't want to go through there that slow you know following him I'm kind of a little off of my line but I mean even with this leisure ride the bike just handles really nice really smooth the motor just has a really nice purr and if you Oh, she's got a... I really like those pipes. I like those pipes. Those pipes sound awesome. They sound nice. It, it, you know, very rotatable bike. I think through here, you know, I like... I, I already knew that I would like standard mode better. 
you know, through here. Just a better feel overall. You know what I mean? Suspension feels good. Rear end feels like it's it's got really nice rebound. So, you know, it recovers really nice, which is, you know, I like that. It gives you, it makes you feel reassuring. There's nothing worse than when the back end is kind of just bouncing all over the place. Bouncy, 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 you know what I mean? Like that's kind of just annoying. But um, yeah, it's, 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 I like it. Just don't like the fairing. You know, I love that you could just double tap and boom, shoes all the way up. And there you go. You have a little bit more, a little more quiet, you know, which is nice. That is really nice. I don't know if the shield is going to be in my particular line of view, but that is a nice feature. Definitely you want to be in standard for cruising. That's, that's the definite. Um, where is the cruise control? Oh, the cruise control is over here on the right. Man, they changed this up, man. Everything is just, it's, it's so much easier to get to. Wow, that is great. You know, the other one, they had it, they had the, the, okay, we're good. The other one, the other one, they had, on the other one, the windshield adjustment was over here. And man, I tell you, that was, no and then you had to move your hand in and do this kind of thing, you know. Wow, this is a really nice change. This is nice. You know, they've really, they've really made this a, 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 I guess you could say, much more economical ride. Much more user-friendly ride. You know, that's nice, man. Throttle's way less touchy too when you go through, you know, when you go to get on the gas just a little bit. Throttle's nowhere near as touchy. And man, you can just cruise, man. You can just cruise and relax. This is great. I love it. It's got a really nice rumble. It's really nice. You know, and this white is really nice on the eyes too. If you, you know, if you're into white, that's your thing. Well, it's not everybody's thing, but if it is, you know, it's really nice. Yeah, so we are at Americade, my friends, if I've not said that about 15,000 times. And we're just cruising on down. We're bringing the bikes back. I guess this was like a, a follow me if you can ride. I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Because. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, I didn't push it through the turns or anything. I, I don't You know, I don't want to take any chances anyway on a demo ride. The highway open it up for the fun of it. But man, whoo, was that fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that demo ride. Gonna... We're bringing them back now. Beautiful ride, man. gonna take that gray one out next that's a 116 I want to take that one out next so uh man this throttle you need to hold on to this throttle with two fingers I don't know what they did with it but they really made it touchy Let's do our walk around. Okay. Freaking kickstand goes out to Nevada. Alrighty. Let's do 
our walk around and snap our pictures. This is pretty much what she looks like. We need to get a picture for the channel. Make you smile. Turn the light off. Alrighty. All right, YouTube. I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see if we can take this one out next, which is a 116.